How to make the low poly glitch effect. Today's video is sponsored by the best next gen game, Candy Crush. Open your clip in the Fusion page. Add a merge node. Bring a particle emitter in empty space. Go to the Style tab and change the style to Bitmap. Bring a background node in empty space. Change the color to white. Add a polygon mask to the background and draw a triangle shape. Connect the background node to the particle emitter. Select the emitter and add a particle render node after. Change the output mode to 2D and connect it to the merge node. Select the emitter and go to the region tab. Change the region to bitmap and bring the low value to zero. Connect your clip to the emitter. Go to the controls tab. Increase the number to 1000, you will need to increase it again later, but for now let's keep things smoother. Change the color to use color from region. Set the lifespan to 1. Open the rotation tab and set the Z variance to 180. Add a bit of position variance also. Go to the style tab, open the size controls and increase the size variance. Select the particle render node and increase the pre-generated frames all the way up. Now you can go back to the emitter and increase the number of the particles. Something around 5000 will be good, but you can experiment with it. Once you are satisfied, select the merge node. Right click to the center value and select to modify with shake. Change the edge to mirror and go to the modifiers tab. Bring down the smoothness. Set the minimum to 0.45 and the maximum to 0.55. Go back to the Tools tab. Right click to the Blend slider and select Expression. Write down this Einstein level expression and your effect is ready. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, subscribe and close your eyes.